Next is a very very important inversion of a slider crank mechanism that is crank and slotted lever mechanism. Now what actually is this crank and slotted lever mechanism or is ki akhir zarurat kya padi humko? Now in certain machine tools like in shaper machines, in planer machines as we know the cutting tool reciprocates over the workpiece and it cuts the workpiece. So there we need to convert rotary motion to reciprocating motion. Now why rotary motion has to be converted to reciprocating motion because in order to have the continuous motion one link has to be continuously rotating. Okay, So the input link rahegi, that should be continuously rotating but the output link should have the reciprocating motion. The tool should have the reciprocating motion which is actually cutting the workpiece. Okay, so one of the option can be we can use either slider crank mechanism. Can we use the slider crank mechanism? Yes, but there is one problem. The problem is in a slider crank mechanism, jitna time forward stroke me lagega, same time will be for backward stroke. Okay, and in this, in the in all such machine tools, in shaper machines, in planar machines, always the forward stroke is the working stroke. The return stroke is always the idle stroke. Okay, so. Agar hamara same time return stroke may be lag raha hai, it is ultimately the waste of time and time in manufacturing is actually the money. Okay, you are wasting the manpower, you are wasting the electricity, all, all such things will increase your cost. So what we can do is because the forward stroke is cutting stroke, it has to be it at its own speed. But the return stroke is the idle stroke. Return stroke jo hai, wo idle stroke. So uh, idle stroke hai. So we can move the, uh, the cutting tool fast during return. That means suppose if forward stroke is the cutting stroke like like, like suppose in this case if, if forward stroke is cutting stroke so that is moving like this okay return stroke can be very very fast like this. So okay so such type of mechanism which we use is known as the quick return me motion mechanism. So this crank and slotted lever mechanism is one, one of such mechanism which is known as the quick return mechanism. Uh, the first quick return mechanism which was used in earlier days the quick return mechanism which was used was the Whitworth quick return mechanism but, but due to certain disadvantages that was now obsolete and we use this crank and slotted lever mechanism. So you can see in this particular mechanism how this crank and slotted lever mechanism works. Okay, So you can see the forward stroke is taking certain time which is actually the cutting stroke but the return stroke is very very quick. Okay, now the question arises how can we achieve such mechanism. So as I told you this uh, crank and slotted lever mechanism is actually one of the inversion of slider crank mechanism. We have studied of about a sli a slider crank mechanism and we have studied about inversion. What are inversion? Inversion means when we are fixing different links of course one link at a time if we are fixing different links we will get different inversion. And this particular mechanism we will get when we are fixing the connecting rod of the slider crank mechanism. Okay, so if we are fixing the connecting rod of the slider crank mechanism, we will get two kinds of mechanism. We will get two types of mechanism. First is the oscillating cylinder engine and second is this crank and slotted lever mechanism. Okay, so you can see uh, with the help of animation it will be very very clear to you ki that how we are achieving such mechanism with the help of this slider crank mechanism. So understand this thing very very carefully. So initially we are having the slider crank mechanism as you can see here. Here you can see the fixed link which is a frame which is in blue color. The crank which is rotating continuously is in green color. The connecting rod is in red color and the slider which is sliding over the fixed link is in yellow color. Now what will happen when I am fixing the connecting rod and of course the blue colored frame will be free now free to move. Okay, so here you can see if I am fixing the connecting rod, I will get such mechanism and this mechanism is nothing but the oscillating cylinder engine. This mechanism can be directly used in oscillating cylinder engine. But in order to use this mechanism as a crank and a slotted lever mechanism, you need certain more modifications. Now what extra modifications you have to do, I will tell you. So what you can do here in this oscillating cylinder engine mechanism, what we can do here is just understand this thing very carefully. First thing we will increase the link length of the yellow colored cylinder okay yellow colored cylinder which was actually acting as a slider initially in the slider crank mechanism which was acting as a slider uski link length hum increase kar rahe first thing and we are making a groove in it getting this not okay yellow colored link ki humne link length increase ki and we are making a groove in it. Then you can see one blue colored link which was actually the frame in the slider crank mechanism uski link length humne reduce kar li and you can see the mechanism you will get like this okay you can 
easily correlate these two mechanisms okay yellow colored link which was uh, a, a end which was the one, one of the end of this yellow colored link was fixed to the red colored connecting rod here you can see one of the end is fixed to the red colored connecting rod okay humne uski link length ko increase kar diya usme groove bana diya okay and blue colored ki link which was actually the fixed link usko uski link length ko humne decrease kar diya getting this or not okay now very very important thing here you can see two types of rotation here first is the crank which is rotating about one center and second is the slotted lever yellow colored slotted lever which is rotating about or you can say reciprocating about another center and whenever two links are connected together and both and both the links are having different center of rotation whenever two links are connected together and both links are having different center of rotation then there has to be the sliding motion okay i will repeat it again very very important thing jab bhi do links aapas mein connected hai aur dono ka center of rotation agar different hai then there will be there has to be a sliding motion between them aur wahi yahan par ho raha hai okay the slotted lever which is a yellow colored slotted lever is Uh, slot is uh, is actually reciprocating about different center and the green colored crank is is rotating about a different center and both of these are connected as you can see so there has to be the sliding motion between them therefore this blue colored link will actually slide over the yellow colored slotted lever okay and this is nothing but the crank and slotted lever mechanism isme further ek link laga ke if i am putting the so cutting tool this will actually act as crank and slotted lever mechanism now i will show you how this crank and slotted lever mechanism acts as the quick return motion mechanism so you can see this animation uh, you can see two different extreme position of the crank okay this is one extreme position of the crank this is let's suppose the imaginary crank is at this position this is one extreme position of the crank okay and during forward stroke okay just look at the this pin the the this pin se humne join kiya hai just look at the motion of this pin during the forward stroke this pin is moving like this and final position of this pin is at this particular point getting this or not okay that means this is covering this much angle during forward stroke forward stroke mein ye itna angle cover ho raha hai let's suppose this angle is beta getting this on now what about return stroke now i will continue to play this okay so return stroke mein kitna angle play, cover ho raha hai just this angle which is let's suppose alpha okay that means and as you can see from the figure itself this beta is actually greater than alpha okay therefore jo forward angle hai that forward angle is actually more as compared to the reverse angle okay therefore the time taken during forward stroke is more as compared to that of the reverse stroke and that's why this particular mechanism acts as the quick return motion mechanism getting this or not to get complete video lectures of gate ies and ssc je mechanical engineering branch download our free application gate lectures for mechanical from play store to continue getting preparation related videos on youtube subscribe our channel along with bell icon to get regular notifications